Hello dear Interactor users, welcome to first tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show how you can easily set up your character with Interactor. I just imported uh, started assets from Unity and I have a player with a character controller on it. But as you can see, there is no rigid body. But it doesn't matter if you have a rigid body controller or a kinematic controller or any kind of controller really. Interactor works the same with all. So let's start by adding it on the player. Let's add interactor and it will add a sphere trigger on the player. So this sphere will be our interaction zone and interactor will detect all the interactions within this area. And we can adjust its position, but let's leave it like that for now. Over here, we have some integration options. So if you have Final IK and a properly set up Final IK character, you can switch to Final IK version over here. So let's start Interactor and it will ask me to save my uh, file. Let's create a new save file and it will add our first effector. So effectors are like sensors for the selected body type. Over here, I'm going to select my left hand and it has some rules to start interactions for this body part. Over here, I can adjust my horizontal angle and offsets. Also, I have my uh, vertical angles as well over here. And this maximum range will define how far this left hand can interact. Also, we have minimum range to ignore closer interactions. So left hand will only interact with the objects within this area. So you can uh, reposition this effector, but if you can't move too much, that's because uh, the range hits the sphere trigger's edge over here. So you can increase your sphere collider and that will uh, create more room to place your effectors. But, um, there is an easier way to do this. I'm just going to click on auto button and Interactor will handle everything for me. It repositioned my sphere and resized it. Also placed my left hand properly and adjusted all the rules. So that's all for this left hand. And we can add right hand to select right hand and click on auto. And Interactor handled everything again. Also, it added Interactor IK and adjusted the body parts properly. So uh, when we clicked on Auto, Interactor also checks a few things for us. In this case, it says IK Pass is not enabled on this player. So if you see this warning, you can select your player and open your uh, animator controller. On the base layer, you can enable your IK Pass. There is one last thing we need to set. Over here we have a player layer and it is default. So we have a layer option here. So if you have a player without any layer, you can create a player layer. Or if you have a layer for the player, you can write its name uh, right over here. And that is done. Interactor is ready. And also if you are not a fan of this custom UI, you can simply minimize uh, Interactor or you can completely fold it because uh, we are mostly done with these rules and uh, you will be working with interactor targets and interactor objects when you create new interactions. Now let's test our player by creating our first interaction. To do that, I'm going to add a basic input interact. So this is a basic script that will uh, communicate with the interactor when we press E so it will start interactions and stop interactions for us. Also, I am going to add basic UI and this will also uh, show the interactions within this area on my left corner. Also, I will be able to select my interactions with mouse wheel. And uh, when I press E, uh, the selected interaction will be used. Now let's create our first interaction. I have a button over here and uh, it has an animator on it with a simple button push animation. So let's create our interaction by adding interactor object on it. And I'm going to select interaction type as manual button. Also, I will select its 
setting file as default and interaction is ready. Uh, one last thing we need for this interaction and that is the player targets. So player targets will define uh, which part we will be interacting with this object. And also it will set our body parts gesture when we are interacting with the object. To create interactor targets, uh, you can select your skeleton and find your left hand, for example, and copy it and add interactor target on it. But there is also easier way to do that. Go to interactor and select your body type and click on create target. And interactor will create your target on the origin point of the scene. Also, let's create a target for left hand too. And they are done and ready to use. So we can select those and create our prefabs. And we are done with those. Now, let's place a target on this uh, button. Uh, let's use this button with left hand over here. So I'm going to position this one really quick. Also, there is an easier way to do this uh, by just simple clicks uh, by spawning them on the objects and that will be shown on the next video. But this will be our first interaction test. So uh, the interaction is ready. Let's place this object on the red button. And also I want to push this button called its animation when we interact with this object. So I'm going to add a simple event on the interactor targets event list. And let's select the red button here. And I'm going to select uh, animator play the animation by its name. And I'm going to call this event when our hand on the object. So that is over here or uh, at the end of target segment. And I'm going to add the index from the event list. So it will add this event when our hand goes to target on the target. Okay, interaction is ready and our player is ready. So let's test our first interaction. Let's press play and let's go to object to interact. So when we go to object, as you can see, nothing happens. There is no interaction object and there is no button name. So we can't detect this interaction. And that is because uh, there is no rigid body on the player. And there also there is no rigid body on the uh, red button. So by default, Unity's rules to colliders detect themselves, uh, at least one of them has to have a rigid body on it. So in this case, I'm going to add a rigid body on the button and I will set it as a kinematic. So there will be nothing changed for this object. Also, you can add uh, your interactor objects manually by calling some events or by scripting as well. But in this case, it will be done automatically since we added rigid body. So let's test again. Let's go to object. And now uh, we can see the red button. And also we can see on the debug view, left hand can interact with this object. So if I click E button, it pushes the button and interacts with it. And also it calls its uh, animation when our hand is on the object. But uh, when I turn, so let's go to top view over here. Let's turn a bit more. As you can see, when the object, uh, when our target on the object uh, goes out of our interaction zone, we can't interact anymore because that will cause some glitches. Also, there's this Y angles tool. So over here, we only allow interactions uh, within this area. So our hand won't go some unwanted uh, situations. But there is one more cool feature that you can use to interact with objects from any angle and height around the player. And that is orbital reach that comes with the interactor. So to use that, I'm going to add orbital reach on the player and set my interactor and animator on it and simply click on add orbital reach layer and that is done now we can use orbital reach feature too
to enable that, uh, we need to enable orbital reach on objects as well. And they are ready. Let's test this one too. Now, when I go to interact with object and even turn my back, object is still interactable. And let's try to use this. Okay, there is an error with the orbital reach, it seems. So if you have issues with uh, orbital reach like this, maybe some uh, timing issues too, uh, you can go to your animator and you can switch between the update modes, uh, normal and animate physics. Now let's try animate physics and try the interaction again. Now when I go to object, let's turn our back and press E again. Now the interaction successfully completed and I can interact with this object from any angle. And that is done for this first tutorial. And it is that easy to set up interactor with your character. And I will show some other details and some cool features in uh, next tutorial video. And thank you for watching. See you on the next one.